Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 160. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get started. Two days after we sought McKenna's assistance, the rain finally stopped and the skies cleared. The weather is per perfect for fishing. Pardon? Henry would have said something similar, but I guess this sound odd coming from me. <clears throat> hmm? I said the weather is perfect for our tea party. With Miss Massa's back, we have enough hands to prepare for one. Uh, everything in place to write the invitations, Your Majesty. After Navier writes the invitation, the ladies in waitings write out the address on the envelope and put the card inside. I like this hairstyle on her. I don't know, it just makes her look very youthful and like elegant, sweet. Huh? Your Majesty, you're inviting the nobles who are a level two threat? Level two threat? While you were gone, we developed a secret code. We categorized key nobles based on how hostile they are to Her Majesty. With level one being the highest, level one com compromise com compromises comprises. Hold on. At a glance, I thought it was compromises, but it's comprises of Marquis Caitron, Duke Reverdy, and Duke Zemencia. Level two are the nobles close to them. Amazing. Oh, is it really safe to invite such antagonistic people? <laughs> I have my reasons for doing so. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? Your Majesty just brought back a memory. Huh? While I was on leave, I visited the pa place where the troop that fought the spring water bandits were staying. I encountered Lord Corsair there. Uh huh? I have to say. Da -dum. He's more frail than I expected. Oh. oh. <laughs> she just insulted the, her Navier's brother. The Remarried Empress, episode 160. Massa's word left me puzzled, but my attention was diverted in the, in the afternoon as the guests started to arrive for the tea party. <laughs> oh. Should the event, event conclude without incident, I might consider downgrading the threat levels of those on the list. <clears throat> you know, Miss Emari is already expecting. Already? Oh my. It hasn't been long since her wedding, has it? <laughs> they didn't waste any time showing their true colors. It must have happened right after. It's wonderful news. Miss Amari, she was one of the Chris's favorite ladies in waiting. I remember her. I ran into her and Krista when I first came here. And she delivered a basket of flowers from Krista to me. I think I know why they're mentioning her in particular. Out of all the ladies who have recently gotten married. When might we expect such joyful news from your majesty? There it is. That's a private matter between their majesties. It's inappropriate to make it your business. Oh my, it was just a question. Their child will be the future of our empire after all. <laughs> no need to be so defensive, Miss Masters. Her majesty must have an heir to put an end to those rumors. It's as if you're embracing such rumors. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Nian, you're jumping to conclusions. Is it not natural for a subject to show some interest? If I allow this argument to con con ugh. if I allow this con argument to continue, a level two threat is bound to slip and put their foot in it. But an empress shouldn't wait until that happens to say something. It's time I intervened. Oh, huh? Oh, dear, how clumsy of me. 
Put on a serious face, Navier. Look serious. Securing an heir is important, but our immediate concern should be stabilizing the political situation. After all, there are tensions between our empire and other nations, including White Mond. Indeed, Your Majesty. That is also important. <clears throat> yes, Your Majesty. Is absolutely correct. It worked. I have them convinced that I deliberately avoiding the topic of heirs. I need to remember the names of those two in particular. <laughs> Your brilliance never ceases to amaze me, my queen. I do hope our child takes after you. That wouldn't be ideal. Why not? I think they'll be adorable if they were. Very, very adorable. What a strange thing to think. A child who is as aloof as me is unlikely to be cute. Now, a child that resembles Henry would be adorable, like the baby bird I saw in my dream. He's like a little star. <laughs> it's too cute. No. Perhaps that's not ideal either. It wouldn't be hard to educate a child with my temperament. Oh, she wants two kids. Anyone who saw me grow up, including my parents, can attest to that. Oh wait, that's her family, right? Yeah, that's her family. So and that's her brother, and that's uh, Navier. Okay, got it. But say the child is a mischief maker who only acts sweet and innocent around me. <laughs> the little bird. Mm -hmm. How does one educate a child like that? Hmm. Henry, will you tell me about your childhood? Pardon? That came out of nowhere. Do you want to know more about me? They say a parent is a mirror for their child. Not only do I want to learn more about you, I want to prepare myself for... Uh, or rather, I want to form a picture of the child who is likely to take after you. Hmm. I don't agree with the notion that the parent is a mirror for their child. Why not? She looks very different in this art style. Like, she almost looks very Asian here. Like, her eyes. I wasn't that dependent on my parents. Oh. Then were you an obedient child? I don't really remember. That sounds like a no. I do recall that I spent a lot of time roaming around outside. I took McKenna with me everywhere. His caretakers must have had their hands full trying to keep track of him. Henry might like a child who's similar to him. How would you feel about our child inheriting your personality? My goodness, what a thing to say. <laughs> Let's not curse this child, shall we? Huh? The next evening. Henry didn't share much about his childhood, but I found another source. McKenna. <laughs> hmm, hmm. The... What are all these boxes? <laughs> the contents of these boxes will answer all of your questions. Ta-da! This is a painting of him as a child. Oh, oh my! He looks like a little troublemaker. Was he angry here? Every time his majesty did something wrong, his mother would have an artist paint him. My goodness, she did. <laughs> it was punishment for his majesty, who hated staying still. So that's why he looks sulky in everyone. Take a look at this one. Originally, his mother gave them to his majesty so that he could count how many time, how many there were once he grew up. But after he was caught trying to get rid of the evidence, I was in charge of storing them. That's a lot of paintings. He must have gotten into a great deal of trouble. It's cute, but it also worries me. There's still a chance a child might take after me and behave. But that comes with its own set of problems. If the child is like both of us, A, 
troublemaker during the day. <laughs> the bird just like making a lot of trouble. Secretly a model student at night. Let's see, what else can I show you? No, that doesn't sound great either. Tall. What are you looking at? Do share. That is a sarcastic smile. That's not a genuine like, what are you doing? Like, I'm curious what you're doing here. That's a, oh, McKenna, you are in trouble. Look. <laughs> well, we, we have to wait to find out. I'm sorry, you guys, for stuttering today and just misreading some of the words. I was just like, yo what is going on but i had dinner and i had some like sweet lemonade and i think it's kind of making me hyper so i'm sorry <laughs> all right guys tell me what y'all think of this sweet episode no drama very cute and lighthearted. of course we did deal with the level two <laughs> threats kind of people but they weren't too bad. Navier was able to gracefully handle them without like, you know, being overly dramatic and upset like Rasha and start crying, you know? Like, that's how ugh, being compared to like Rasha and Navier, like how they're just so polar opposite, it shows, okay? It shows who is deserving to be an empress versus, yeah, forever a mistress. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!